let's go over how to download files with Playwright. So if we go to commitquality.com, we've got this practice file download page and you can get to this by going to practice, scrolling down, find file download, click on it. And all we wanna do in, in this video is click the download file button and ensure that our dummy file has been downloaded. It's just a simple text file that has content in there that says this is a dummy text file. So let's jump into our Playwright solution in VS Code and go through how to do this. So I've got my basic test set up here. And the first thing we want to do is go to the page. Let's say await page dot go to. And we want to say go to commitquality.com practice file download. So I'm just going to copy this. And then what we want to say is we want to create a constant that's going to wait for our page event. So we're essentially going to want to click the button like we did in the manual example, click that download file button, wait for that download event to happen, and then we're going to save the file. So what we can do is say const download, or we'll say wait for download, wait for download event. And we'll say that's equal to page dot wait for event. And then inside here, we're gonna pass through what event we wanna wait for. So in our case, it's a download. Here next then, we wanna action it. So let's say await page dot, uh, we'll do a get by role of button. And we'll say that button actually has a name of download file. Let's just double check. Yep, that's download files, that's all good. And then we'll say, okay, let's action there. So let's click it. So all we've done in this is we've said, get us the locator, which is gonna be the download file button. And we wanna click that. Next, then we wanna say another constant, we'll call it download, because this is where we're gonna use the wait for event and save it to our report, local repository. So I'm gonna say const download uh, equals, await and then what we named this constant here so let's say wait for download event and then we want to save it so let's say await download dot save as and then all we're doing here is passing the location and the name of the file before we want to save that so in mine i'm just going to say save it at the root and we'll name it uh for now let's just say name it uh it worked, it downloaded, we'll say it downloaded, why not? So let's execute this test and see what happens. This is our only test, but I am gonna add a dot only, which allows us to only run one given test. So if you have been following along with different examples, just add your dot only onto this test and it'll only execute this one for you. So I'm gonna say npx playwright test to hit this to run. And there we are, we can see the test has passed. And also it downloaded is now inside my repo. And this is the dummy text file that was downloaded. Now, before we sign off this video, I do want to show something else that's a little bit better than just hard coding the name here is we can get Playwright to work out what we want the name of the file to be. So if I say download dot suggested file name, it says here that it's going to return a suggested file name for this given download. So now this should be a different download here, which should be something like dummy text file because that's a better name rather than it downloaded. So let's rerun the test a moment. There we are, we saw it passed, and now we've got the dummy underscore file, and we've got the extension added on that I didn't actually add the last time, which is a text file. So there we are, it's the same file that was downloaded, but named it that little bit better to make everything a bit more readable and understandable what things are. And that's it for file download. Nice and simple, but very useful when you want to start doing a bunch of different things all together in a kind of end-to-end -end scenario.